Okay, so uh, today for our exploration project, we'll be demoing our little uh, sequence memorization game that we made with TM1638. Uh, we use a simple Python interrupt handler we created. Uh, we found that it's uh, impossible to use the real interrupt kind of uh, handler with the HM1638. So we created a simple helper library, which Alex will probably go into more later on. I'm just going to demo the game real quick here. So for the purpose of demo, we're just going to go up to level 2. So the sequence shows up as LED, and once it does, it'll print out go here, which we kind of missed. But uh, if we press the, the corresponding button here, it moves on to the next level. Next level is level one. And now we'll see more sequences in the LED that shows up. Uh, I believe it was uh, four and one. Let's see. So I've completed the <clears throat> game. It shows done. And that's that. And if we do make a mistake in the sequence memorization, it will show that you lost. For example, um, I'm going to do something stupid so it was 3, but I'm going to press something else like 8, for example, and they'll think I'm a loser, so it puts <laughs> out lose, for example. And that's basically it for the, the game. Now Alex mm -hmm. will talk about the interrupt handling library. Yeah, so uh, because of the interface that the TM1638 uses, uh, you can't actually use the, the standard uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Python built-in interrupts, uh, so we kind of have to fake it. Um, so what we did is we wrote a uh, we wrote a simple library which allows you to write uh, whatever function you want to handle the user pressing one of the buttons, um, and you pass this function to the library, which treats it as as a callback. So once one of those button presses is, or, sorry, I should say. Um, once you determine that you are you are ready to wait for user input, uh, uh, you call this function in our library, um, and it will it will get that information from the user. At which point we pass you back to your code, and we run uh, we run that callback with information on what button was pressed. Um, so obviously, it's not quite as flexible as uh, an actual real time interrupt handler. Um, but again, it's not possible to do that uh, with the standard interface for the TM1638. So this is kind of an, a useful in-between, uh, and any, any user of this library would be able to avoid uh, having to implement this functionality themselves. So instead they can focus on developing uh, the game in this case, as opposed to, okay, how I'm going to manage the hardware.